So what does a systems engineer look like? Is there a particular mold or a set uniform that they have? Systems engineers typically will take on multiple roles and they may be working in different environments. That will contribute to what type of things that they will be wearing or uh, what type of settings that they'll be working in, the environments and all that sort of stuff. Systems engineers are not tied to a specific industry and in addition to that they actually can perform different roles within the field. If you want to know what a systems engineer does and you're not quite sure, don't worry, I got you covered. We've got a podcast episode that covers that. I'll, I'll link that somewhere and hopefully you, you'll get an idea of what, what it is that we're looking at here. On top of that, if you want to go into a deeper dive and have an idea of what a, you know, a career in that industry may look like, I've got a book called 10 Plus 1 Steps to Problem Solving and uh, it's an engineer's guide based on a career in control systems and operational technology that you can take advantage of. I'll link that too in the description below or something like that and as you go through it you'll see some career stories and some perspectives of the types of problems that I'm looking at and, and solving and it may help you understand what, what it is exactly that, that systems engineers do obviously that you know it's going to be high level stories and, and and all sorts of things like that have a look and, and you'll you'll get an idea let's take a look now at what a systems engineer looks like so systems engineers can be working in multiple roles and environments and the depending what the role is depending on what the, the task is or the environment that they're working in will determine you know, what they look like, what kind of clothes they may be wearing. I think there are about four main categories by which you could be um, working in. The business facing engineer. Broadly speaking, you'll have your sharp look, your corporate kind of look, where you could be doing client meetings, you could be doing vendor meetings, you know, meeting with corporate, pitching your own business for like ideas that you have and things like that. The test lab engineer. The second is you could be, you know, in a lab setup. We're in a little bit more casual clothes and, you know, you, you want to be relatively comfortable. You want that the clothes that you're wearing, you know, they can get a little bit dirty and you might have minimal PPE, such as like, you know, safety goggles or gloves or something like that. the site engineer the third one is full ppe you've got the you got the hard hat you got the glasses the boots um, the high vis that's because the environment you'll be working with maybe you'll be on the field you'll be outside you do inspections or maybe you're actually doing some of the actual uh, work depending on what the industry right that you're in but you could be out there doing stuff and you will need to be in your full ppe the focused engineer and finally the other look um, will be super casual maybe you're doing a deep dive you block time for a particular task and so it's maybe your software programming maybe you're doing a bunch of configurations doing a requirements analysis you know high analytical work or anything that needs you to be really focused on that one thing and you could be in super casual clothes you know um, you're going for max comfort anything that allows you to stay in flow state for as long as possible that is kind of that look Maybe it's more akin to, you know, when you work from home or something like that, but, you know, your headphones are, are on and, you, and you're in that really focused zone. So for me, for example, you know, on earlier in the week, I had to do uh, vendor facing stuff, business facing things. So I was all in my, you know, business attire, suited up kind of look, um, looking really sharp. Um, and in, in the corporate offices, that type of feel, Later, I was in a testing environment because we had to like review some uh, some uh, some equipment and some designs that we're putting in, and we're a bit more a little bit more hands on, so it's a bit more casual. Today, I'm going out to the field, doing some uh, inspections and things like that, and then tomorrow I'll be back in that corporate setting. Um, following that, there'll be a couple of days where I need to get you know some real work done, um, so I'll be in that more full casual mode because I need to do some deep dive type work. At any given time, as a systems engineer, you could be in one of those four, I guess, archetypes, but it doesn't mean you have to be right. There's a full range, there's a whole 
uh, range that you could be in and it's funny when you think of oh, what does an engineer look like and you might have you know a mold maybe it is the high vis maybe it is just a business looking person or maybe it is a very technician type type look but the cool thing about systems engineering is it could be any of those But I just wanted to run you quickly through what a systems engineer looks like. Is there a uniform? And there might be um, for particular companies, but they're more for you know that kind of casual wear or uh, you know, in that technician wear. You come out with a polo or something like that with the with the, with the company uh, logos. But you know, as a systems engineer, it could be different. You know, many more might be more business oriented because their task requires a lot of the analysis, customer facing, you know, business facing type. Uh, presentations and, and things like that but you could be more all the way on the field on site um, so it's, it's kind of a one of those interesting yeah, disciplines of engineering that allows you to have a flexible role so if you're considering a type of engineering or you're you know you don't know which which one or you don't want to be tied to a desk or you don't want to be too much in the field systems engineering is a great way to kind of get exposure to both sides and you control that by the industry and the role that you're in So if you liked anything you saw, I'm going to be creating more and more engineering content, um, particularly around that systems engineering space, but also a whole range of stuff. Really, I'm focused on projects, career stuff, um, and just anything that engineers would be interested in. So like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. The more that you, you know, respond or interact, uh, lets me know that we're doing good and will allow me to create more and more 